Hey everybody, this is Matt from Abacor Benzel, hanging out with Scott Huber, Key Accounts Manager for Abacor Benzel. Scott, we're going to talk about neckliners today. So front load liners get all the attention or all the rage, but neckliners are actually even more convenient ways to increasing robotic welding cell uptime. Tell me how that works. Well, Matt, the nice thing you have is a neckliner goes into your swan neck. It's a short piece of liner set up that it contacts the back side of your gas diffuser, just like a standard liner would. What we've done is you have your torch module here. When you put the swan neck into the front of the torch module, there's a, a midpoint here. So your typical liner, instead of coming all the way down through the module into the swan neck and making contact with the gas diffuser, we stop it midway. This is our, our connection point here. If you notice, the neck liner has a contoured back end, allowing your connection point with the liner to come in contact okay. there. So your liner and your robotic cable will basically sit inside this little contoured seating area Correct. On, your, on your neck liner. Yep, because cool. the most wear point on the neck liners are right at the bend. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the liner is usually in good shape, but you're replacing a, a, you know entire liner out just because the front end's wore out. So now you can have preset neck line or necks already with neck liners in, all set up with nozzle tips. Go in, remove the swan neck, replace another one, keep your uptime better. Really convenient. If you want to know more about neck liners or get a look at one firsthand, contact your local Abacor Benzel rep or your local distributor. This is Matt with Scott from Abacor Benzel. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.